Hey guys, welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. I'm your host, Ashley, and today we are gonna talk about the magic number, or depending on which team you're talking to, the tragic number. But before I jump into that, I just wanna take a moment to address my new shirt, which is awesome. And I went on a bit of a tear on Labor Day buying new stuff, so sorry to my credit card and to future me for dealing with that, but you guys get to see some new stuff. So this one is... Hunter freaking pants, Lone Star All Star. It is another Breaking Tea classic. And again, not sponsored. I just happen to really like Breaking Tea t-shirts. They are really timely, which means that in like a year, they won't make any sense. So as we're heading into the post season, I thought I would do a couple of episodes in a row that kind of address the different things that you'll hear going into post season baseball. And the magic number is a big one in September because it is a very important number that teams are chasing in order to kind of lock down their post season position. So just what is the magic number and how do you calculate it? Well, that's why you guys have me. So let's get into it. Let's talk about what the magic number is and I'm gonna bring in that blackboard and we're gonna do a little bit of math like we did with the games behind or games back video, which I will link up here. So the magic number is a number that represents just how close a team is to either winning postseason contention in a wild card spot or winning their particular division. And this number is basically a combination of wins needed by that leading team or losses by a second place team in order to ensure that they're able to lock down either their division or that wild card berth. And we're going to get into an episode on the wild card later this week. So look forward to that one because that's a big one going into October. Trust me. So in this case, the only losses that are really important are the team that are directly behind that team for contention in one of those spots. And this is especially important in that wild card position when there are a bunch of teams that are perhaps very close to each other and are competing for only two wildcard spots in each of the leagues. Both the American and National Leagues get two wildcard contenders that will compete in one wildcard game. So there's a lot of competition for those two wildcard spots, especially down to the wire. And the magic number represents how many games that either that team needs to win or the team directly behind them in contention for that spot needs to lose. So there is a formula for this and I'm going to throw up everybody's favorite thing, that mathematical blackboard, and we're going to get into this. So the the exact formula for calculating the magic number is games remaining plus one, and then we're going to throw this in brackets, minus losses by second place team, that's the team right behind them in contention, minus losses by first place team. So this is one of those things where it's like the first, outside, inside, last, however you supposed to, you know, math. You know how much I love math, and I know how much you guys love math. but. That's why we've got Mr. Blackboard, and I hope that kind of makes it a little bit clearer as to how you calculate that magic number. Now, the magic number term has been around since about 1947, and the first recorded use of it was in reference to a New York Yankees team competing for a playoff position. And this was in reference to the Yankees and Red Sox both competing, and they used it exactly as we used it today to refer to the number of wins that the Yankees needed or that the Red Sox had to lose in order for the Yankees to clinch their position into the postseason. So this has been around since September of 19. 1947, which means we've been referring to the magic number for a good long time. Now, conversely, there is the elimination number, or otherwise known and lovingly referred to as the tragic number, and that is the number of games that a team either needs to lose or have the team ahead of them win in order to mathematically eliminate them from competition. Now, sometimes the magic number is also used to refer to bottom place teams who are competing for the first draft pick in next year's selection, and this isn't calculated quite the same way, but it's really a race to last, where teams are kind of not necessarily hoping, but looking at how many games either they need to lose or the next closest lowest rated teams need to win in order for that team to secure the first draft pick of the next season. And in case you weren't aware, and we'll do another video just on that, but in cases of the draft pick, the team who finished last in the previous year gets to pick first in the next year's amateur draft class. So it is kind of a reward for being the worst, but not something that most teams want to aim for. So there you go, guys. Magic number, tragic number. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up down below. While you're down there, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to be notified every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when a new episode goes live. And of course, it wouldn't be an episode unless I reminded you that you can follow me on social media, where I'm at 90 feet from home on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, guys, we'll see you then.